Hi, my name is Philip Klein. I'm a Truno Trading Mentor at ITBM. Welcome to my first Flash episode. Today is Monday, the 27th of October, and I'm going to present you a long idea. The world is going electric faster than you think, while everyone is talking about Tesla, Riven, BYD, or self-driving cars. The commercial EV space is actually projected to grow even faster. The big problem companies face are charging times. And the, my stock pick for today, ticker MVST, MicroVest, solves exactly this problem with the ultra-fast charging technology. Let's talk a little bit about the company and then I'm going to tell you why I think it's a good long right now. It's a 1.8 billion market cap company, currently trading at $5.50. It's a global provider of advanced battery technology, specializing in lithium-ion batteries for commercial EVs, but also for energy storage solutions. It's a US-based company with manufacturing plants in China, which is the biggest one, and also in Germany. The batteries can charge 80% in around 10 minutes, which is key for commercial use and transportation companies. It's not a new technology, they introduced it first in 2012, but since then it has evolved a lot. They have more than 810 patents and patent applications, as well as partnerships, for example, with General Motors or BMW. What I like about the companies, they are working on an all solid state battery. They had a major breakthrough earlier this year. This technology brings even more benefits, it's, it's less flammable, it's more reliable, more energy dense and so on. So why do I think this is a good um, opportunity now? Because the mega trend of electrification will continue for a long time. The EV battery market is projected to grow 20 to 30% each year until 2030 and will reach around 150 billion market. There are a lot of tailwinds, so regulatory tailwinds. For example, Europe wants 90% zero commission um, city buses by 2030. China plans uh, or targets 40 to 50% new EV sales by 2030. And the US is giving you currently up to $40,000 in credits if you buy a heavy duty EV. We see companies like Amazon want to go fully electric. They plan um, to have 100,000 EVs by 2030, already deploying Rivian. Uh, vans and exploring others. So I think MicroVest has a massive total addressable market opportunity. The market for com commercial EV batteries is around 30 billion at the moment. So let's take a look at the quants. MicroVest trades at 33 forward PE. Their revenue growth for this year is expected to be around 21%, accelerating next year to 28%. The company became profitable this year and is expected to earn around 19 cents. Earnings growth for next year is expected to be around 52%. So we see good acceleration in revenue, but earnings growth is accelerating even faster. This implies um, continuous operational leverage and margin improvements. We see this already in the gross profit margin. So let's take a look at the chart and why the company nearly went to zero in late 2024. They faced a lot of problems back then. Besides macroeconomic headwinds, their US manufacturing at the Tennessee plant was delayed. It faced repeat setbacks because of supply chain issues and also capital shortfalls. A 200 million government grant from the US government was later removed due to the China Association. Although their CEO and founder is a US citizen and they are committed to increase US output. So I think the bad days are over. The Tennessee plant is starting output by year end and they have some major tech breakthroughs. So I think there are a lot of catalysts. First of all, US revenue is only 5% at the moment, but it's fast growing. In the first half of 2025, revenue grew 250% in the US. So there's a lot of opportunity for the company, especially if the Tennessee plant is fully operational by year end. Secondly, I expect next earnings, some news about the all solid state battery, maybe some news about pilots, maybe news about scalability or new patents. And lastly, the focus of MicroVest currently is heavily on commercial EVs. And if they start to transition a little bit into the energy storage solution, this might be a really big opportunity for them. They have good products in the space, energy demand is growing and also the demand for energy storage solutions. I don't want to mention data centers here, but we all know it's a fast growing space. Of course, there are risks to the trade. First of all, it's a speculative stock, which is up 160% year to date. 
but it's still way below its all-time high. They have a China exposure. Most of the production is over there. New export controls could add cost to their production, but the shift to the US helps. There might not be a cyclical recovery, so it might be wise to pair this trade, for example, with a short in the industrial space. Always take a look at your portfolio and see if you can afford adding a stock like this or if you need, for example, more exposure to the short side. So let's take a look at the structuring. It's a very volatile stock. Implied volatility is around 130. To benefit from the high wall, I've chosen a calendar ratio call spread. Assuming a 100K portfolio, we buy 80 contracts of the 16th January $6 strike for 8,800. And we sell 40 contracts of the 21st November $7 strike for 1,600. It's a two to one ratio and a really nice credit in November. It's an around 18% of the long deck. And we are most likely agnostic over earnings. They haven't announced the earnings date yet, but last year it was around the beginning of November, so expect a similar date this year. What if we book the credit first and then the stock goes to $10? We make 24,800 or 3.44 times our money. If the stock goes to $12, we make 40,800 or 5.67 times our money. This is a really good risk reward. This is definitely the stock that could go or could double in a few uh, months. So let's take a look at the scenario. If the stock goes immediately to $10, then we would make around um, 14,800 or two times our money, which is still a very good risk reward and a bet I'm happy to take. Let's recap my idea. Microvest is riding the electrification wave with fast charge batteries for commercial fleets, a 30 billion total addressable market opportunity. They have technological edge, or solid state breakthroughs, partnerships like BMW or GM, and tailwinds from regulation. Numbers show 20% revenue, earnings growth, profitability turning, but still way below its all-time high. This is my dear, stay tuned and see you on the other side.